So here we are getting ready to leave on our second leg of the adventure. We're heading up into a Weatook National Park. Uh, today should bring us into just the, um, just right over the border into the park and we're going to camp a little bit early if necessary. Tomorrow is going to be our big day. We've got some big boulders to get through. We've got some glare ice and uh, even some sand maybe. We have some small waterfalls we need to go up. We'll be traveling upstream. So we're anticipating a challenge and we want to camp early so we can get an early start in the morning and it'll probably take us all day to do, geez, you know, maybe five, ten, ten miles. So that'll be a challenge, but it's supposed to be spectacular. We're excited. We got a lot well, I, you know, I, I think it's going to be pretty, uh, pretty easy. We're going to have a couple of hours maybe of tough trail here. I know there's a place that's tough every year. They, they talk about it, even has a name and a nuctitude that means tough trail. Uh, it's going to be maybe a 10 mile stretch. It's going to be kind of rough and brutal, but uh, um, you know, the rest of it will be like usual. You know, I, I think we're going to run into some of this, uh, some of the problems with slush and overflow that are, are new, newer to the area because of the global warming, um, you know, that maybe in years past we wouldn't have seen. But uh, again, that's just an encounter that we have to deal with, and and that's it, that's it here in the new age. I mean, travel up here in the global warming, you're, you're going to run into those kinds of situations. So um, maybe we'll run into a few bears on the other side when we get out to the sea ice. But uh, for the most part, it'll be just uh, carrying on as usual. Uh, hopefully, good weather. <laughs> uh, we've got we have to go up the uh, waterfalls, I guess, a rocky, bouldery. Uh, incline and uh, so I imagine that we probably have to work everybody together to get sled at a sled at a time but uh, it's always good for team building and it's just at the beginning of the trip. Once we get at the top I, I think it's going to be quite um, easy travel. Uh, it's a U-shaped glacial valley with uh, ice caps at either end. It'll probably be quite cold because in that situation uh, when you get this type of clear high pressure the cold sinks down into the U. It's kind of a classic cold sink so It'll probably be cold in the valley, and uh, the valley is also noted for a strong wind, so we can get some really powerful winds in there. And um, ironically, the valley is called the place where the ice never melts, and uh, is now melting. The glaciers on there are retreating real quickly, so we're going to be documenting the glaciers and what we see here of 2007, so we can compare it, come back in 10 years or so, and take a look at the film and see how things have changed. We got a lot of people down here today uh, supporting us, seeing us off, and that's really wonderful. And uh, Simon has a new sled, so he's all ready to go. We're trying out a new system here with some hardware, some Jumars on our sled, which will make it a lot easier on our hands. And we're looking good. We're looking good. We're right on schedule and we're going to travel out through the sea ice. It's a little jumbled here around the dog yard, so that'll be a challenge. But then when we get out onto the main part of the sound, it'll be pretty flat and smooth all the way into the park. So it should be a good day.